All right, so I wanted to follow up um, from the first video introducing how to um, how to actually where I introduce how to actually get the work plane offset from the bottom of your um, windshield. So in this next part, you got to make sure that you've done that. So if you haven't done the the offset from the bottom of the um, the windshield, you need to go back a previous video. And, and do that and you'll figure out how I actually dimension these guys. So I'm gonna just real quick um, talk about how to put all the little extra um, little extra squares on the outside of the bottom of the windshield so that it, and what those squares are doing is when you insert it into the car body because it actually, it, or the passenger section because it actually matches up with this section in the top part where there's the the hole in the top that that part actually matches up with the windshield that you've made uh, so we've got to we've got to get those little notches in there and I'm going to show you how to read the detail uh, the detail B in here on that, that windshield so in your sketch in sketch uh, in the second sketch here we you first you obviously you got to put your um, fillets in there. I'm not going to do that in the in this video because that's kind of that's you guys have learned how to do that at this point if you've gotten this far. Um, so what we do need to focus on are these notches though, and how do we measure them? So when we're starting off here, we can start off on the edge of our part here, and I don't want to just assume that it's in the center and but I uh, of the windshield I want to actually make sure that it places the um, square in the center of the in the center of the part so it, if you look at this part we have a construction line that actually goes down the middle of the uh, goes down the middle of the little notch here so what we can do is put a line that starts here goes down the middle of it and we're going to change that into a um, a construction line. Let's see, it's somewhere in here, I think. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I'm in the tool, so I gotta construction. So we're gonna make that a construction line, and we want to make sure that from the construction line, if we look at our detail here. It's 0 0.025 from one side of the construction line. Okay, and it looks like it actually constrained it to the middle already, and so it made the other side of the part automatically. So we, I, just to double check, let's just put our constraint in here with our, our dimension. And that should be 0 0.05, and it looks like it's popping up there. And it is, so we can tell that it constrained it to the middle already because it's 0 0.05. If it doesn't uh, constrain it automatically, then just put 0 0.05 and then it, that'll automatically be in the middle. Now that we've got a line that's kind of going down the middle of it, we can use that line to dimension from the edge of the part where it should line up. So we're gonna we're already in our dimension tool. So we're gonna go from the middle of that line all the way down to the bottom of the part. Okay, and again this part's using datum dimensioning. So we're always gonna go back down to the very edge of the part and with all of our dimensions you'll notice that all the dimensions are going down to the zoom the two same lines of the part. So this one is 1.28. Okay, and so now we've got a placement on there, and we can go dimension across. And here's where you got to do a little math in this. If you haven't put the shell in the center, or if you haven't shelled it already, and you don't have a line there, um, and you're trying to do this in the same exact sketch, um, what you'll need to do is do a little math here. And so we know that the shell is 0 0.05 for this, 0 0.05 from the inside here to the outside of the shell. And then from the inside of the shell to here, it's 0 0.09. So all we have to do is do 0 0.09 minus 0 0.05, and we get 0 0.04. Okay. And so now we've got our dimension across. It's 0 0.05. We've got our dimension sticking out. It's 0 0.04. And we've also placed it in the right spot as 0.05 or 1.28 from the bottom. And when we put in the other one, you can either do a mirror plane, but we haven't talked about what a mirror plane is. So um, you can do 
you can make the other notch over here in the same way that we did this one and just extrude it at the same time. So now that you know how, how large the, the rectangle should be and how to dimension it, you're going to have to do that one, two, three, four, five more times. So you've got to do it on all the two on the sides here and here and then one across and then two on the sides here and here. And you can use the mirror tool if you know how to use that. If you don't know how to use the mirror tool, just put the, the rectangles in. And that's really where you should be at in my class is um, using, we're, we're just learning to read our dimensions and, and place them in the, in the sketch. Um, once you're done, you get to do kind of a, a cool different extrusion here. So I'm going to say that we're done here. Let's pretend that I've, I've put all the other uh, five notches in and now we're going to extrude this. So extruding it looks like this. So we're going to select this and then we've got to zoom in here and we're going to get that little notch out there and it's facing the wrong direction so I've got to change directions and we're not doing a new. We want to add to it. The only problem is is that when we're doing an extrusion it extrudes it in a, in, in a way that's flat so we can't extrude, use that typical type of extrusion at this point. So we have to use a different extrusion. When the extrusion that we're going to use is actually an up to next. And this is a great extrusion to use for when you're extruding to a face that is not perfectly flat. And so the, the windshield is rounded. And so we want it to extrude up to the windshield here, which is a different distance than extruding here you can see that line is a lot longer on this part of the extrusion than it is on this part of the extrusion so after you once you get that sketch on the bottom done and you're gonna of course your extrusion is gonna have the fillets on the bottom um, so make sure you get make sure you get that in your original sketch you can use the shell tool okay and so we should have oh sorry our shell tool it's right here and if you look at our drawing Again, the shell says that it should be 0 0.05. And that's it. Okay. So, but again, if it, I'll know that you're just copying the video and you're not actually reading the drawings, if you end up with this shape, this should not be square. So, this shape is actually incorrect. Um, but I was, I was just focusing on really two main things. One is how do you get the right size of the notch here? And then two, after you do the extrusion with the correct uh, fillet on it, then how do you how do you get that shell um, and extrusion in there? So, if you have questions, again, this is not correct. So, with, as far as the uh, as far as the corners go, so just remember that I don't I don't want to show you exactly how to do every step because you got to learn to read some of those drawings on your own. Okay, all right, good luck, and we'll start that over for class.